It's been a while, boys, huh? Yeah, I know. It's been like six months since my last video. That's a lot. No, th no, that's really a lot. That's not even acceptable of me. But I'm hopefully back. <laughs> and as you can see, nothing has really changed. Nothing has really changed in my background. My blender is still here. Although it's 4.1 version, not 4.2, which is out. Maybe even some higher version, I haven't really checked. But don't worry guys, I'm still working in Blender. I'm still doing some projects, some stuff. And there will be more content coming up. Yes! Hell yeah! Hey, come on, baby! Come on! Yes! Come on! Ah! Yes! Yes! And, uh, yeah, so yesterday I was driving, and I was thinking like, man, I could film another Blender video. It's been a while. <laughs> Long time no see. 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 Long time no And then I come up with an idea of making a traffic cone, because I, like, I s I've seen a traffic cone while I was driving, and I was like, yeah, I, I could totally make a traffic cone. Like, my viewers would definitely watch that. So, today, we're making the traffic cone. Alright, so... Before we get started, maybe some of you can hear. I've changed my mic. I've changed my mic for the, like, older mic. Well, not the older mic, the older headphones, which have a mic. And my new old headphones now have said like, "Hey, we have served you. We have served you for a long while. Now it's your turn to go broke, buy a new ones, and we're just gonna chill on your desk." Perfect. I'm totally happy with that. That's like thirty dollars less in my bank account. I ask you how you are, you just have to say that you're fine when you're not really fine, but you just keep fine. Um we're just gonna start before I start talking and breaking down <laughs> because I bought a new headphones and I almost went broke. I'm just kidding, I, I didn't yet. Um so yeah, let's start. Alright, so first things first, delete. Delete. Oh, I don't want to see the default cube, and add a new one. That's how. That's how OGs do it. All right. So select it, and now, now I want you to scale it down onto the Z axis, so it can be like, let's say, a bit smaller, like a flatter surface on which cone is gonna stand onto. And now, of course, for a cone, we can just add a cone, but that's not a thing. We want to make it like the harder way. Uh, so we're picking the cylinder. Let's press G and Z to move it up. And now what you want to do is like, oh, I forgot to add some more vertices because we want to make it smooth as well. Um, where is it? Cylinder press here and add. so here's 32 we're gonna add like 50 vertices that that's fine for smoothing it out so right click and shade smooth by angle it's pretty smooth now i would say move it up go to tab like go to edit mode and hold alt and select the top rim of your cone and now press s on your keyboard to scale it so that's pretty much like the shape of the cone. Maybe we gotta delete this. Because I know the cones are empty, right? So this is not gonna be the problem, pretty much this is. So we're gonna press X and select faces. So now it's empty. Cool. But before we like attach it onto the surface, we're gonna add some loop cuts. So press Control R and add one here, 
and press again and add one here you don't even need to remove it it's like perfect all right so go to your material view and now i want you to come up close press alt somewhere near this edge but select the face select first which is up here and then select the whole row and now what you want to do is to add a new material assign it click again new and assign it again so you now you're just gonna pick the color which you which you like this seems almost perfect I'm, I'm gonna pick this one or right, we can maybe even change it to be metallic but we're gonna we're gonna do that later okay so yeah uh, we gotta hold alt again near the edge select all this and we're gonna add a new material actually we're just gonna like hold on so this is the hue so 0.027 i could have just copied it but i want to show you how it's done manually all right so yeah this is pretty much our cone which we're gonna attach into the surface well not really attach we're just gonna drag it down and we need this a bit smaller maybe maybe even flatter like this and okay it's not poking out that's perfect and now we're gonna add a material the orange one and again do it like this <clears throat> so yeah we can now change this we can put it a bit more metallic a little more a little less rough this is gonna be like a premium cone it has some reflection though i'm just kidding it's gonna be still here um we're gonna do this okay i think for the white white line is not really necessary to change it if you want to you can like changing into a brighter white color like this but you really don't need to i mean if you want to you can but i will because it's for the video but there is no other reason pretty much and once you finished you can even if you're working on a project like you're making a city you're making some road that's like closed or something you can select this and join the object and now all this is one object which is pretty cool you can now just click on one thing and scale it however you want to like that that's pretty much good and that's pretty much it yeah I like the look of the cone so yeah this is pretty much it guys for today's tutorial it's simple I know it's short but you can suggest me totally in the comments so what should I do next what you want to see just tell me I, I want to make new stuff and yeah thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one peace